Okay, any pains or injuries before we start? Good day. All right, good day, everyone. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through ubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video, as well as my website, simhayoga.com. Today's class is open flow. It is a level one, level two. If you're working with any kind of special conditions or limitations, make sure that you do modify or skip poses altogether. Always making good decisions about your movement practice so that you don't create any injuries or perpetuate any injuries. Um, if your hips or your low back are rather tight, you might want to elevate sitting up on a block with some blankets. And that'll make it easier for you to sit up tall with a lengthy spine. Okay, let the palms face up. Fingers come to Gyana Mudra, thumb and index fingers touching. Grounding evenly through your seat, elongating through your spine. And as you start to draw your senses inwards, connecting to the breath. Let your inhales even out with your exhales. And through the inhales, let the crown of the head reach upwards toward the sky as you lengthen. And through the exhale, grounding firmly and evenly through your seat. Inhaling again, expansion of the lungs in all directions. And then with, through the exhale, let it all go. Whenever you're ready, ujjayi breath, oceans breathing. Lips touching, slight restriction to the back of the throat, creating the ha sound as you inhale and exhale. Kind of like you're trying to fog up a mirror with your nose. Oceans breathing, ujjayi breath. Three ohms together, inhale. Um. Um. Keeping the eyes closed, hands together in prayer on front of the heart, pressing the thumbs into your heart, heart back into the thumbs, lifting the heart up toward the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart, chanting the mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga, call a response. Om ma pavitraha, Om ma pavitraha, pavitrawa, pavitrawa, sarwa vushtan, sarwa vushtan, kato piwa, kato piwa, yaha smarit, yaha smarit, pundrikaksham, pundrikaksham, sapahya, Sapahya, Bihyandraha, Bihyandraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes, palms face up. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Chin toward the right shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the right hand. Left ear to the left shoulder. Left hand to the right side. Chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center, drop left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side. Roll it back, opposite side, roll center. A few more rounds at your own pace. Take one more giant circle, chin back toward the chest and pause, and then taking the opposite direction.
chin back towards the chest, and then lifting the chin parallel to the floor near to spine, extending the legs forward, separating your feet. Hands supporting to either side, sitting up tall and turning your toes toward each other, and then roll up. Draw in, roll out, draw in, out of rotation, circling. Back to center, switch them around in rotations. And back to center again. Cross your shins. Take the opposite shin on top. So non-dominant crossing of the legs. Taking the arms up high and extend. Exhale, twist to the right. Okay, now back to center. Arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. Back to center again. Side bend, right hand down, left arm overhead. Take back up. Exhale, other side. Back up again. Legs forward and forward fold, grabbing your feet, ankles, or your shins. And start to release, keep the left leg extended. Step the right foot over, a half seated spinal twist. Right hand behind you, left arm up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, counter twist to your left. Now stay twisting to the left. Roll to the outside of the left foot and then walk your right foot in a little higher and point the toes to your left side. Supporting with your left hand, right arm up and forward fold. So this is your forward folding dragonfly. Start to release, walk your hands back in. Left hand further back, press into your right foot, lift the seat. Raise your right arm up and overhead and extend. Start to release. Take the seat back down. Roll back to center. Sole of the right foot in a left leg. Left hand to the floor. Right arm up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Grabbing the inside of the foot and then re-lengthen the spine. Square off your shoulders. Exhale, deep in the fold. Release, back to center, keep the legs as they are, counter twisting to the right. Stay twisting, step the left foot down, ground the right palm, lift the seat, lift and extend the left arm to the back of the room. Release, take it back to center, seat comes back down, keep the left leg extended, right heel draws back to the best of your abilities, legs are 90 degrees, if that is a little bit tight for you, you can draw the right knee in a little bit, All right, try to get to 90 if you can, left hand down, right arm up, and then forward folding over your left leg once again. Release, make your way back up, keep the legs as they are, and again, twisting to the right. Stay twisting, side bend over your left leg, and then raise your right arm up over the right ear to extend. Now, if you're able to bind the right hand to your left foot, you can grab the foot. If not, keep the right arm extending forward. And start to release, make your way back up, keep the legs as, as they are, and twist to your left. Square back to center, draw the left heel in, swing the right leg all the way around. So this time, it's the full variation of you see the spinal twist. 
Right hand behind you. Left arm is up. Inhale. Exhale. Twist to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, counter twist to your left. Back to center again. Warrior one. So step the right foot forward. Hands come to support. Left foot comes back. Ground through your heels and rise up into warrior one. Inhale, lengthen front leg, reach up high. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Three times. Inhale, lengthen, reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Length and reach up, keep arms reaching. Bend the front knee into warrior one, open it up, warrior two, and same thing here. Length and reach up, warrior two. Length and reach up, warrior two. Length and reach up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. You can modify with the right arm to have the right leg or the right hand to the floor. If you can touch down easily, left arm reaching up. Inhale, come back up, reverse warrior, triangle, lengthen out the right leg, tip the left hip slightly back, reach your right hand further forward. Hand to the top of the shins if you're less flexible, hand to the floor if you're more flexible to reach down, left arm up. Inhale, take it all the way back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor. Right foot, stepping back plank. Lower all the way down to the belly. Three progressive cobras. Hands alongside the rib cage, toes reaching back. Inhale, lift up baby cobra. Feel your belly and your lower ribs stay on the floor. Exhale, lower almost all the way down, still hovering. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Belly, lower ribs away from the floor. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up if you can. Full extension of your arms. If that's too tight, keep your elbows slightly bending. Cobra pose, Bhujangasana. And release all the way down. Child's pose. Seat toward the heels and fold. And come back to your down dog. Lift the seat. And then start to walk your feet forward towards your hands and separating your feet for yogic squat. So toes are turned out. Try to keep the heels down if you can and lowering your seat, hands together in prayer. Now, if your um, ankles are really tight, your Achilles, right? If you have to stay on your tiptoes, then you can support with your hands, right? So if you have to stay with your tiptoes, support with your hands. Otherwise, keep the heels down, turning your toes out. Also, it helps if your heels are too close and you can't draw the heels down, walk them a little bit wider. So try to get to a stable position with your heels down. And take the seat all the way down. Second side, right leg extended, half seated spinal twist. Step the left foot over and try to keep the foot flat to the floor. Left hand is behind you, inhale right arm up. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, counter twist to the right. Forward folding dragonfly. You're going to roll to the outside of the right foot, out of the right leg. Walk your left foot in a little bit, higher up the right leg, and then turn the toes to point toward the left side. Uh, sorry, toward the right side. Right hand stays on the floor for support. Left arm is up, and then reach forward. And forward fold. So this is your forward folding dragonfly. Walk your hands back in. Walk your right hand further back. Keep your left foot planted. Lift the seat. Raise your left arm up and reach toward the back of the room. And Start to release the seat back down, square back to center. Sole of the left foot to the inner right leg. Right hand to your floor, left arm is up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach forward, grabbing your foot, ankles or your shins. Re-lengthen and then deepen the fold. Good. 
release, make your way back up, twist to your left, and then ground your left palm down, step the right foot down, standing on the left shin, raise your right arm up and to the back of the room. Release, take the seat back down, square back to center. Draw the left heel back this time. All right, so you're coming to a 90 degree angle the best you can. If that's a little bit tight for you, take the, uh, the thigh in a little bit, your knee forward a little bit. Right hand to your floor, left arm is up, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Release, take it back up, twist to your left. Stay twisting, side bend over the right leg, so lean the torso forward, left arm overhead, and reach. If you're able to bind the left hand to the right foot, go ahead and take it. Begin to release, take it back up, keep the legs as they are, and then counter twist to the right. Square back again, bend your right knee to draw the heel in. See the spinal twist, the full variation. Swing the left leg around, and then again, step the left foot down. Left hand behind you for support, inhale, right arm up, and twist to your left. Inhale, release, square back. Exhale, counter, twist. Square back again, warrior one. Step the left foot forward, support him with your hands. Lift and step the right heel down. As you ground, rise up, warrior one. Inhale, lengthen front leg, reach up higher. Exhale, bend the front knee, arms alongside. Lengthen, reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside, length and reach up, keep the arms reaching. Bend the front knee to warrior one, open it up, warrior two, and same thing here. Length and reach up, warrior two. Length and reach up, warrior two. Length and reach up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, side angle, modifying, elbow to top of the knee, or left hand to the floor, right arm up. Inhale, take it back up, reverse warrior. Lengthen out the left leg, triangle, hand to top of the shin or to the floor, right arm up. Inhale, come back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. So this time, three progressive cobras, uh, version two, holding. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. So your belly, lower ribs, stay on the floor. Press into your hands, lift up a little bit higher. Belly, lower ribs, away from the floor. Press into your hands, lift up even higher. Full extension of your arms for Bhujangasana, if you have it. Or keep a slight bending of the elbows. And release all the way down, child's pose. Seat toward the heels and fold. And down dog. Inhale, right heel up, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose and around. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, right knee in. Kick it up again. Open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee to outside the right arm and touch two times. Inhale, kick it up. Right knee outside the right arm and touch. Kick it back up this time. Knee comes into twist. 
and touch your left arm. Inhale, kick it back up. Stepping your right foot forward. Warrior one, arms up high. Left hand to catch your right wrist. Extend up and side bending to your left. Take it back to center. Bend your right elbow. Left hand to right elbow. And again, side bending to your left. Back to center, keep your arms and lean it back with a back bend. Keep the back bend, release your hands back behind you, interlace, broaden your shoulders and deepen, looking upwards. Bow forward, devotional warrior. Take it back up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. In a reverse. Extended side angle. So again, you can modify elbow to the knee or the hand to the floor and the left palm face down and reach forward. Extended side angle. Keep your left arm extending, lengthen your right leg. Extended triangle. Pyramid, left hand to the floor. Uh, take the hands to uh, frame your right foot. Inhale, lengthen, square of your hips. Exhale, fold forward. Revolve your triangle by left, lifting the upper torso. Left hand stays down, right arm up to twist. Extend the right arm forward. Extended revolved triangle. Keep the right arm extending. Bend your right knee. Extended revolved side angle. Take that into a half bind. Right hand behind you. Lift the torso slightly and hook the left arm to the outer right knee. And a twisted side angle with a half bind, unsupported. Inhale all the way up and around, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose three times. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, left knee in. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, left knee in. Kick it up again. Open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside of the left arm in touch. Kick it back up two times. Left knee outside of the left arm. Kick it up. This time, knee comes into twist. Catch your right arm. Inhale, kick it back up. Stepping, your left foot forward. Warrior one. Right hand, touching your left wrist. Extend up and side bending to the right. Take it back up. Bend your left elbow again. Right hand to your left elbow, side bending to the right. Back to center, keep your arms and lean it back for a back bend. Keep the back bend, wrap the hands back behind you and take the opposite interlacing of your hands, broaden even more and gently looking up. Then bow forward, devotional warrior, crown of the head to the inside of the foot. Inhale, take it back up, warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. So again, modifying elbow to the knee or the hand to the floor. And the right palm to face down and reach forward, extended side angle.
Keep that extended side angle with the right arm reaching forward and just lengthen your left leg for extended triangle. Pyramid, right hand comes to floor for support and then frame your left foot with your hands either side. Relengthen your spine, exhale, fold deeper. Getting into your left hamstring stretch. Left glutes, outer left leg. Lift the upper torso away from the floor. Right hand stays down, left arm up to twist. A revolved triangle. Extend the left arm forward. Extended revolved triangle. Keep that left arm extending. Bend your left knee so it's an extended revolved side angle. Half bind, left arm up and behind you, twist deeper. And then lift the upper torso up a little bit, hook the right arm to outer left leg, an unsupported uh, revolved side angle. On the inhale, come all the way up and around, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. This poor guy just keeps crawling back at me over and over again. I'm going to have to take it away. I blew it away like three times already, and it just keeps coming back. <laughs> Inhale, step the left foot forward, low lunge. Right foot forward, standing forward, bend the feet together, knees together. Bend the knees, rise up the chair. Once you steady your pose, make sure that your knees and your feet are lined up by looking down. And then crown of the head, arms reach forward to a diagonal, tailbones reaching back. Keep the chair as you swim the arms. So swim the arms back, swim the arms forward. Swim the arms back. Swim the arms forward. Swim the arms back. Swim the arms forward. Then keeping arms extended, lengthen out the legs. Lift up and back for a slight back bend. Exhale, dive forward, fingertips to floor. Bend the knees and step the right foot back. Low lunge. Raise the arms up high, high lunge. Hands together in prayer, interlace your fingers and press your palms forward. On the inhale, lengthen front leg, reach up higher. Bend the front knee, press forward, and add a twist to your left. Three times, square center, lengthen, reach up. Bend, press forward, and twist. Square center, lengthen, reach up. Bend, press forward, and twist. Square back to center, wrap the hands back behind you. Interlace, lift up, gaze upwards. Come back to neutral, warrior three. Tip the way forward to stand on the left leg torso and your right leg about parallel to the floor, reaching back. Stay on that left leg and start to stand up. Draw the right knee in, right hand to right knee, left hand to left hip. If you have better extension, yoga toe lock and extend the right heel forward, left arm reaching out to counterbalance and then open up the leg to the right side. Now, if you don't have the big toe, right? You're taking hand to knee, same thing. Open up the knee to the right. Square back and through your warrior three. Step it back to warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back. This time, lower all the way down to the belly. Shalabhasana, locust. Reach your fingertips back, reach your toes back. On the inhale, lift the head, lift the upper back. Reach your toes back, lift your thighs. Once you're nice and balanced here, you can reach your hands back as well. 
We're going to lift up and down three times. Inhale. Lift higher. Exhale. Lower almost all the way down. Inhale. Lift up high. Lower almost all the way down. Inhale. Lift and hold. Three. Two. One. All the way down. Child's pose. Seat toward the heels and fold. Walk your hands in, camel pose. Tuck the toes under. You should have about one fist distance between your knees. Now, if you need extra padding to your knees, you can take your towels, your blankets, or you can fold your mat. Just take the mat, draw it in this way, and you've tripled up your mat, and giving that extra cushion might be more supportive for your knees. If you don't need it, that's fine. You can stay as you were, all right? So make sure you have that fist distance. Then standing on your, on your knees, tuck the toes under. Hands to your lower back. So your palms to your lower back, your fingers around the top of the glutes. Draw the elbows back to broaden your chest. Lean the hips forward to activate your quads and with your hips moving forward and the upper torso leaning back, that's your counterbalance for your supported camel pose, Ustrasana. Now if this is easy and you can deepen your back bend, you can reach for your heels with your hands. And then once you have the pose, to deepen the pose, you wanna move the hips further forward Broaden your shoulders and maybe drop the head back. Now, if your neck is not so strong and healthy just yet to take that weight to your head, you can keep the gaze looking forward, lifting your head. So this is a good option for those of you with uh, weaker neck muscles, right? And it's not comfortable to drop your head back. All right, lifting your head, make your way back up. As you draw the seat down, untuck your toes, and then move your knees a little bit so that you can redo your mat and then walk it back to your down dog. Inhale, rest it forward, low lunge. Left foot forward, standing forward bend. The feet together, knees together. Bend the knees, rise up chair. So again, once you set up your legs, knees and your feet are lined up, draw the seat slightly back, Angle the torso forward, crown of the head, and the fingertips reach forward. Keeping the legs as they are, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward, inhale, lengthen the legs, lift up and slightly back to the back bend. Exhale, dive forward, fingertips to floor. Bend the knees and step the left foot back this time. Low lunge. Then take the arms up high for high lunge. Steady your balance. Hands together in prayer. When you interlace your fingers, take the other thumb on top and then pressing your palms forward. Lengthen in front leg, reach up high. Bend the front knee, press forward and add your twist to your right. Square center, length and reach up. Bend, press forward, and twist. Square center, length, and reach up. Bend, press forward, and twist. Stay uh, with your knees bent. Square back forward. Wrap the hands back behind you. Non-dominant interlacing of your hands. Broaden your shoulders. Reach your knuckles back. Gaze up with your back bend. Come back to neutral spine. Tip forward. Warrior three. Stay on the right leg, start to stand up, draw the left knee in. Left hand to left knee, right hand to right hip. Or yogic toe lock if you have the extension. Right arm reaching out everyone and then open up the leg or the knee to the left side. Stay balancing on the left leg, square back, and through your warrior three, nice and controlled. Step it back to warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back, plank, and lower all the way down to the belly. 
This time, if you want to uh, repeat the Salabhasana or bend the knees, grab your feet for bow pose. All right, once you're ready, kick your feet up, lift your thighs. Use that action of the lift to help you lift the upper back. Now, once you're up, it's not just your legs doing all the action of kicking and lifting, right? Think about your upper back lifting as well. And everyone start to release. Child's pose. Seat toward the heels and fold. And then lift the torso up, same setup. If you need to take extra padding to your knees, you can fold again your mat or um, take your blankets or your towels to your knees. And once again, have the fist distance and tucking your toes under. This time we're gonna stand on the knees, arms alongside. So think about your, uh, your body as one straight plank forward, right? We're just gonna lean the torso back and forward, right? So keeping everything uh, strong and firm. You're gonna lean the upper torso back and then lift back up to vertical. Do the best you can to lean it to 45 degrees, right? Maybe 30 degrees is good enough. And lift back up. Lean it back. Lift back up two more times. Lean it back. Lift back up. This time you're gonna hold it. Lean it back, strong through your lower back and your core, strong through your legs and your quad. Three. Two, one, all the way back up. Walk your hands forward, down dog. Inhale, step the lesser forward, low lunge. Rise the forward, standing forward bend and heel toe your feet about max width distance. So that's pretty wide. Then take your left hand to center, creating a tripod. Bend your left knee, keep the right leg extended and raise your right arm up to twist. Right hand behind you, half bind. Now take the gaze to look down. Notice the positioning between your feet and your hands. So for most people, it's going to be that your left hand is about a foot forward from your toes. So your left arm is vertical, right? So notice that now when we shift to come into revolved half moon, keeping this same positioning, you're gonna end up with a perfect length of your left arm and the right leg um, in a vertical position. So shift to your right leg, reach your left heel back. So this is the positioning of your regular revolved half moon, and then this is the same positioning also with the opposite hand would be your regular half moon. So your left hand should be forward from your right toes by about a foot and a little bit off to the left side. So your left arm should be vertical, your right leg should be vertical. That is the, the length of your torso, right? So two vertical lines, this spacing will give you the length of your torso. If you want to bind the right hand to your left foot for revolved trapasana, go ahead and take it. Release your left foot, step it all the way back and come up and around for reverse warrior. Stay in reverse warrior. Let's take three breaths here. And this is actually a resting for your right leg. And we're going to come into regular half moon. All right, so come back to vertical. Reach your right hand forward. So about a foot forward, just like before. A little bit off to the right side. So you're coming to a diagonal once again. So as you lift into the balance, raise your left arm up. Now the right arm is not fully vertical. It's a little bit slightly tilted because your right arm is slightly behind you, right? And that's because your upper torso tends to lean back a little bit in this balance. So you want the right hand slightly behind you to give you the support you need. 
if you line up your right toes with your right hand, it can happen, but it is very difficult to balance, right? If your balance is rather weak, that's going to be very difficult. But if you take it slightly behind you, slightly off to a diagonal, it's going to be a lot easier to balance. All right, let's break. Bend your right knee, step the left foot all the way back, and that is your warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga, dog, down dog. Inhale, rise it forward, low lunge. Left foot forward, standing forward bend. Once you get to forward bend, walk your feet out, mats with distance. The right hand forward about a foot to the center. Bend your right knee, keep your left leg extended. Left arm up to twist. All right, so again, consider your placement. All right, so naturally, oftentimes, we automatically measure for the right arm to be vertical, right? So the right hand is about a foot forward from your toes toward the center. All right, let's take the half bind. Left hand behind you to twist. Then take the gaze to your floor for balance. Bend your left knee. Start to shift the weight to your left foot and reach your right heel back. All right, so again, you're taking a look at the measurements, right? So with your right hand about foot forward from your toes and a little bit off to the right side, that is about the length of your torso. All right, if you're looking to bind, left hand to the right foot and then kick it back. All right, start to release your right foot, step it all the way back and come up and around for reverse warrior. We're gonna stay in reverse warrior for a few breaths. Right, that's just to give your left leg a little bit of a rest. All right, come back to vertical for half moon. So again, left hand forward about a foot, a little bit off to left side, tip forward to balance. All right, begin to break. Step it all the way back. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands to the floor. Left foot, stepping back plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step the left foot forward. Low lunge, rise the forward, standing forward bend. This time, feet together, knees together. Bend the knees, come up to chair. Exhale, wrap the hands back behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift the gaze up again. Exhale, dive forward, knuckles up and overhead. Release your hands. Bend the knees, rise up chair. Stepping on the left foot, pick up the right knee, tree pose. Sew the right foot in the left leg above or below the knee joint. Then arms up and out. All right, so for most of us, we're trying to get the foot above the knee joint so you can get some hip opening, right? Hip uh, stretch. However, if your hips are tight, that might be difficult to balance with, right? So then you want to go below the knee joint. That'll make it a lot easier. If this is difficult as well, you can always take your toes to the floor and just press your heel up against the inner um, shin, right? Um, on the lower part of the inner shin. We'll take about five more breaths. If you're working with variations, take whatever you want. If you want to follow along, you can wrap the hands back behind you, interlace, reach your knuckles back, and that will give you the heart opener. If you want a side bend, you can take the right arm to the top of the right leg. Now the hips have to move to the left a little bit to counterbalance the torso moving to the right. 
All right, if you're taking any variations, start to break, make your way back up to tree, and then step the right foot down chair. Exhale, dive forward, fingertips to floor, bend the knees and step the left foot back, crescent moon, left knee comes down. So if you need extra padding again to your left knee, you can take a towel or you can fold your mat left side towards center, we'll double up your mat. Then take your hands to the top of the thighs and lunge your hips forward. Once you get to your deepest uh, hip stretch forward, right? You wanna check your right knee over the right heel. So you want a vertical shin here. That, for most of us, is the most stable. Let's start there. Hands to the top of the thighs. As you press your hands into your thighs, hips moving forward, let the upper torso lean back, and then you're going to gently um, start to look upwards at an angle. Try to keep the back of the neck supported. And once you're set there, nice and stable, then you're ready to take the arms up. Venus mudra, index fingers pointing, interlacing all the other fingers. Now, to your best of your abilities, right? You're going to take the arms and draw them behind the ears if you can. If that's a little bit too tight for you, right? Alongside or even slightly forward is okay. So you just want to progressively keep working your arms further and further back, maybe even behind the ears. Right? That all depends on your range of motion in your shoulders. Two more breaths. And when you're ready to break, pyramid, hands either side of the right foot, tuck the left toes under, and start to lengthen out over the right leg. Now, this pyramid is slightly different from the first one we took, right? The first one we took, the heel is down at an angle. This time, the heel is up and shooting straight back, which gives uh, us the opportunity to square off the hips a little bit more. Now, if you want more hamstring flexibility, right, you can pivot to your heels and raise the sole of the foot, of the right foot, right, like this, right, versus the foot flat, I'm going to raise the heel, I raise your foot and pivot to the heel. And that will give you a, a lot more stretch to your calves and your hamstrings. It's also less stable, right, so make sure that if you're rather tight that this is not the option you want to take because this might be too unstable and too shaky all righty step the right foot back down bend your right knee ground the back heel and circle it up into reverse warrior exhale hands to your floor chaturanga up dog down dog Step the right foot forward, low lunge, left foot forward, standing forward bend. Feet together, knees together, rise up chair. Exhale, wrapping your hands back behind you, interlace your fingers, opposite thumb on top. Inhale, broaden, gently look up. Exhale, lengthen and dive forward, knuckles up and overhead. Release your hands, bend the knees, rise up chair. Stepping on the right foot, pick up the left knee for tree pose. So again, best of your abilities, right? So the left foot to inner right thigh, above the knee joint if you can, below the knee joint if you need, and then maybe even your toes to your floor if um, necessary and you're quite shaky here, right? Arms up and out. And you have about five more breaths here for variations, whatever you like. Or if you took as I did, wrap the hands back behind you, but interlace with the opposite th thumb on top and broaden your chest, taking the mid-back bend and the um, broadening of your shoulders. Side bending to the left, left arm, left leg, right arm overhead. The hips have to slightly move to the right to counterbalance the weight to your left. If you're taking variations, start to make your way back up to tree. And then when you're ready, step the left foot down chair. Exhale, dive forward. Fingertips to floor, bend the knees and step the right foot back. Crescent moon, right knee comes down. So again, extra padding to right knee if you need it. 
folding the mat right side towards center or taking extra cushioning to your right knee. Then once you have it, hands to your thighs and then lean the hips forward. Once you get to your deepest lunge of the hips forward, right? You wanna check that your left knee lines up over the heel with a vertical shin. Now, if you're more flexible, it is possible for you to draw the heel further back and the knee further forward. That requires more flexibility, but you do have to make sure the heel grounds down. All right, you do not want to be on your tiptoes and take this pose here. All right, so once you have whatever you uh, need, press your hands to your thighs, lean the upper torso back. Once you're gently looking up and you're ready, arms up for Venus Mudra. So again, best of your abilities, taking the arms as far back as you can, maybe even past your ears. Uh, Katie, tough one today on this side, huh? <laughs> well, just su always support as you need, right? So that's always the option. You yeah. um, always want to be uh, supportive to your poses. All right, starting to release. Hands to either side of the left foot. Tuck the right toes under for your pyramid. Hands supported to either side, using your blocks if you can, uh, if you need and the right heel shooting straight back, right? And the right heel is not touching down. It's actually maybe about half an inch or an inch away from the floor. You just want both um, your feet to be pointing forward in the same direction in a pyramid shape. If you're going for a deeper hamstring stretch, pivot to your left heel, raise your sole of the foot. So you should get a lot more intensity into your left calf and left hamstrings. Right, so that's what it's like. All right, begin to step the left foot back down, bend your left knee for warrior two. Ground the back heel, come all the way up into reverse warrior. And then hands to the floor, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale, come forward into your plank. Lower all the way down to the belly. Take the arms out to a T position. Left cheek comes to the floor. Bend your right knee, lift the right thigh, and then start to stack the hips and drop the right foot back behind you. So the right shoulder um, will come off the floor and you're rolling to the outer left torso, right? Right foot is stepping down, rolling to the outer left leg as well. Now, once you have the right foot back behind you supporting, Think about um, pointing the right knee upwards and slightly back behind you. That will deepen the intensity of the pose, giving you more hip opener, more um, quad stretch, right? So you wanna keep thinking about opening up the right thigh by pointing the knee up and back in space. So it should be also really nice left shoulder stretch. All right, let's start to square back. Come back to center. Take the right cheek down. Bend your left knee. Lift the left thigh and start to stack, uh, dropping the left foot back behind you. And the left shoulder comes off the floor, rolling to the outer right leg, outer right torso. Once you ground the left foot down, start to think about steering your left knee up and back in space. And that will give you better hip opening, better quad stretch, deepening the shoulder stretch. All right, start to release. Square back to center. Left cheek comes down again this time. Keep the right leg extended. Lift the right thigh off the floor and start to stack. Point the right toes to the left-hand corner of the room. Keep your leg fully extended. Then lift the left leg and point your toes to the right side of the room. So you're scissoring your legs as wide as you can, reaching through your toes, extension through your legs. Simon, point the toes. There you go. All right, release the left leg back down, square back to center. 
switch sides. Right cheek down, look into your left side. Point the left toes, keep your left leg extended, lift your thigh, and then start to stack. Reach your left toes to the right-hand corner of the room. Lift your right thigh, reach your right toes to the left-hand corner of the room. Reach your toes, extend, extend, extend. Scissoring the legs. All right, start to release your right leg back down, square back to center, walk your hands in, child's pose, feet towards the heels and fold. When you take your child's pose, let's take the knees wider and then pressing into your hands and get your seat as close to your heels as possible so there's a lot of resistance. Now keep your seat as they are and then gently walk your hands forward with resistance and start to draw your chin toward the floor and then let's slightly look forward with your gaze with the chin to the floor. So there's a lot of extension through the underside of your arms to the armpits and the upper ribs and the upper back. Now keep that resistance and just lift the chin and take the forehead down. So notice how the chin pressing down versus the forehead pressing down is a very different sensation to your cervical spine, right? So with your chin down, you're uh, contracting the back of the neck and expanding the front of the neck. When you take the forehead down, you're much more in a neutral position. Now if your arms are still very active, let the elbows come down and you can even walk your hands in a little bit so that it's a little bit softer in your resting child's pose. If you're still actively reaching your seat toward the heels, you can release that a little bit. You might even walk your forearms forward a little bit to release that tension and let's just take it to a very easy, very soft child's pose. All right, let's start to reactivate, lifting back up into your down dog. Pigeon, left leg up. Draw that left knee in, land that shin to the floor. You wanna angle the left thigh 30 to 45 degrees off to the side. You're balancing on your shins. Hand supporting, into your right knee as far back as you can so you can lower your seat, untuck your toes. Walk your hands back, lift the torso, elongate, make sure you're nice and level in your hips and you're not falling off to one side. And once you're set in the balance, walk your hands forward, forearms down, or uh, hands as pillows, resting your forehead. All right, so for most of us, unless we're very, very flexible and open in the hips, the left seat is not actually touching down. We're actually balancing on the left shin and the top of the right leg. And as we gain flexibility, maybe the hips get closer and closer toward the floor. For most of us, uh, the left seat will not be touching down, right? And that's because if you're squaring your hips like you should, most of us do not have the flexibility to take the seat all the way down. And that is perfectly fine, right? That's most of us. If you like variations here, you have about 10 more breaths. You can take whatever you want. If you want to follow along with me, you can take some simple ones, like just lifting your torso back up again. And this will give you a nice uh, extension through your spine, uh, through, especially through the front of the spine, but then you're also getting a contraction to your lower back, your lumbar spine for your back bend. Right, so this is a very nice stretch also for the front of the right thigh. Now, if you want to twist, you can take your left arm forward, thread the right arm underneath, right shoulder, right cheek comes down, gives you a twist in a forward fold. If you have the extension, the left arm can come back and behind you to grab the left big toe with a yoga toe up. All right, if you can't reach, that's okay. The left hand to your lower back is perfectly fine. If you want to twist the other direction, you're going to have to lift the torso back up, 
take the left seat down and move the left heel slightly further forward. So you're looking eventually for the shin to be parallel to the front of the mat. You want to flex your foot to protect the ankle joint and the knee joint of the left leg. Then you want to start to angle the torso over to the right. And then the objective is to eventually take the left tricep to the sole of the left foot for resistance, press into your foot, hands together in prayer, take the hands to line up with your elbows and then press your triceps even more, lift the upper torso and lean back. And that will give you the twist to the other direction. All right, so you don't really wanna collapse on towards the left foot. You wanna lift away from the left foot, but using the tricep resisting against the sole of the foot. All righty, let's break. Make your way back in. Draw the left heel back a little bit. And then let's break out the pose. Hands to the floor. Tuck the right toes under. And then press it right back to your down dog. And walk it out side to side. Getting some circulation back to the legs. All right, once you're even, second side, raise your right leg up, draw the right knee in, line that shin to the floor. So again, you're in a pointed toe position, you're balancing on the shin, right thigh angles out 30 to 45 degrees, inch your left knee further back so you can lower your hips, untuck the toes, walk your hands back, elongate through the spine, make sure you're nice and level in the hips. All right, if you're falling on the right side, sitting down on the right side, you're going to feel like you're falling to the right. So you want to balance on the shin, the hips even, and you're going to feel really um, balanced here. Walk your hands forward, forearms down, or making your pillows with the hands and resting the forehead. And again, you have 10 more breaths on your own for whatever variations you like. If you're taking it with me, let's repeat the ones that we did um, on the first side. You're gonna walk your hands in and lift the torso up to as vertical of a line as you can so you can get the back bend here, the lumbar back bend. But you're getting a nice extension through the front of the spine and through the front of the left leg. If you're twisting, Right hand comes forward, thread the left arm underneath, left shoulder comes down, left cheek comes down, right arm up and back behind you. Do you maybe want to sit over there? Yeah. And then if you're taking the bind, right arm up and behind you. And if you can reach for your right big toe, fantastic. If not, right hand to your lower back is good enough. You might want to stay here. If you want to take the opposite direction in your twist, you're going to lift the torso back up, take the right seat down, move your right heel further forward. So eventually you want the shin to be parallel to front of the mat. If that is too tight for your hips, right, you can draw in a little bit. Just work with the heel further forward a little bit more than uh, the previous pose, right? You want to flex your foot. Then angle your torso over to your left and then taking the tricep to the sole of the right foot and press into the sole of the foot, hands together in prayer and line up your wrists with your elbows in a straight line and then press your tricep into your foot, lift the upper torso and lean back. So you want resistance so that you can get the stretch to the upper back into your outer right arm. All right, starting to break. Inhale, take it back up. Draw the right heel in a little bit so that you can exit the pose. Palms to the floor, tuck the left toes under. 
and slowly walk it back to your down dog and pedal out the legs, walking it out side to side. All right, when you're ready, walk the feet forward toward your hands. Take the seat down and then gently lowering onto your back. Bridge pose, walk your heels in, separating your feet about hips width distance. Uh, with your hands, feel for the back of the heels. Once you're set with the measurement, press your heels down, lift your seat. You can keep your arms alongside the hips and supporting with your forearms, or you can interlace your hands underneath you and then walk your shoulders closer in so you're uh, stepping on the upper back. And then if you want to deepen that, you can press your heels down and lift the hips up higher, going into a deeper arching of your spine. You can continue here or take a wheel, hands to your shoulders, elbows up and lift all the way up. When you're ready to break, go ahead and release all the way down and gently hug both knees in. Then keep your left knee in, extend the right leg out to the floor, recline twisting. Left arm out to a T or alongside the hips and then gently twist to the right. So you're rolling to outer right hip, outer right leg. Now try to keep the left arm, left shoulder blade flat on the floor, right? So your shoulders are acting, uh, your shoulder blades are acting as your feet for stability. All right? If the left knee does not touch down to the floor, that's perfectly fine. That's just your range of motion, right? So as you keep working on the twist, maybe, right? That's a maybe, eventually the knee touches down. Right, or maybe not. It just depends on your range of motion. All right, take it back to center. Switch legs, switch arms, right arm out to a T or downwards alongside the hips, left hand to outer right leg, and roll to the outer left leg for the twist. Again, keeping your right arm, right shoulder blade flat to the floor at the best of your ability. And start to take it back to center, hugging both knees in. And when you're ready, step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward. Shavasana, final relaxation. Feet are separated, toes are turned out, arms alongside the body, palms face up, eyes are closed. And let it all go.
beginning to draw your breath back in, moving your fingers and your toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions. Rolling over to the right and come up to a comfortable cross leg position and let's take a non-dominant chin on top. Reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale for all. Aum. Hands together in prayer, bowing forward, sealing in the practice. And I'll come up. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here this morning. And thank you for sharing your practice with me. My name is Stephen Chang, coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through ubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video, as well as my website, simhayoga.com. Thank you again for joining me. See you next time.